Hi. I reviewed the movie Zodiac. It was directed by David Fincher. It was based on Robert Graysmith's book of the same name, Zodiac. Fincher and the screenwriter of this movie spent 18 months researching and investigating all the things that happened throughout the Zodiac killings and the Zodiac murderers themselves. It was shot not only by digital camera, but high-speed film cameras also were used for the slow-motion murder sequences. Jake Gyllenhaal, who plays Robert Graysmith in the movie, does an amazing job playing him, portraying him in the movie. He, throughout the movie, is pushing and pushing to find more evidence on who the Zodiac Killer is. The lighting in the movie is... Really good, actually. Um, in one scene when um, Robert Graysmith is at a suspected Zodiac Killer's friend's house, um, Rick Marshall, they go down to the basement and he turns one light on at a time. And as he turns each light on, you see how further and further back they're going into the basement, which makes it more and more intense, like what's going to happen to a Robert. And as they come out of the basement, they as he turns one light off, he's like, you want him to get out because you don't want to be trapped in the dark with this mysterious person. It makes the scene really intense. And also throughout the movie, um, it's the lighting is very well used. When interviewing a suspect, um, Arthur Lee Allen, who is a suspected Zodiac killer, he has all the qualities and everything. Um, when interviewing him, they focus the lighting on them and the suspect, Arthur Lee, Arthur Lee Allen, and the lights around them are dimmed, which puts a lot of emphasis on their interview and what they have to ask him. Music also has a major part in this movie. It, music has a major part in all scary movies. Um, in this movie, they do an excellent job putting music in there. It not only intensifies each scene, but it goes along with what the movie is trying to say, and it captures the audience's attention. This film is um, won four awards. Um, it won Best Director at the Oklahoma Film Credit Circle Awards in 2007. It won third place for Best Film. And... Um, it won third place for Best Film of the Decades at Village Voice Poll in 2009 and Best Film at Village Voice Poll in 2007. And it was nominated for 41 awards. Many critics, when I was looking at them, thought this movie was very well portrayed and it had great acting and the just the accuracy of the play was very well done. As I said before, the director did a lot of researching and investigating and he made sure that this film was historically accurate and it is seen throughout the movie. Also throughout the movie you see dates, times, and places on the bottom of the screen and that really emphasizes on how long this search was for the Zodiac Killer. It wasn't just a year or two, it went on and on and they never actually found the guy in the end. And it, you really feel like towards the end of the movie, you're like, oh my gosh, come on, let's find this guy. But it's very well portrayed. It's not one of those movies that's like, okay, let's get done, let's find this guy. It's you're like, I want to find this guy and I don't want it to end because I want to know who this guy is. Um, this film was historically, historically accurate throughout everything. It was very well done. The Where murders were taken, or murders were taken place they had the exact location exact time done and I thought everything in the movie act like everything in the movie accurately happened and was portrayed accurately I really enjoyed watching this movie and I enjoyed it being the movie I chose because I really like like intense movies and this one kept me on the edge of my feet the whole time